Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Magda and today we're going to talk about what phone apps you will need in Luxembourg. So let's get started. First of all, the most important app is Mobilité. This is the app which you use to check out the public transportation all over Luxembourg. So you will get the information that is much more updated than Google Maps. You will get as well good connections, delays, the fastest way, the you know the least changes way. It will help also a map to show you where is the bus stop. This one I actually prefer on Google, but if you are living for a while, you will be able as well to figure out where is the bus stop. You will know it. Otherwise, it's super useful because it shows you if the bus is delayed, if you're gonna catch another bus, if you maybe have a fastest way by going by train in between two train stations in Luxembourg. It also shows the way to go within Luxembourg country, so also to go to another city. And it's very, very accurate, as I said. There will be the whole schedule of the buses. They will, you will be able to, uh, I have a cat right <laughs> next to me. You will be able to uh, figure out the way to get to the places you wanna get to. As I said, the fastest, the easiest or the closest way to avoid going, like walking a lot. App number two, if we talk about commuting in the city, it's Velo. These are basically public bikes. You have either subscription for one year for 15 euros, or if you use it only once, you have two euros per day. And I think you have to change them every 20 or 30 minutes, but the stations are literally 200, 300 meters away from each other. So you will find the stations everywhere. And these are not the normal bikes, they are electric bikes. So even if you go up the hill, you're not gonna have to suffer too much by biking. A lot of people use it here. I know that people have preferences of what's the bike, how you can like adjust it and how good it is. So sometimes people exchange it, but the app is super easy to use. You just get the number of the station you have to get the bike from and you get the bike and that's it. Just take it wherever you want and you drop it off on the station. Just be careful that sometimes during the evening that it's an issue to get... <laughs> oh my god, the cat is playing with the pen. Anyways, let him be. Um, so sometimes you will get the situation that you want to go from the city center to your to the place you live in, which is outside of the city center, and you will struggle with finding the bike, but otherwise it should be relatively easy and you should be able to find them quickly. And yeah, that's it. That mostly happens in the evening when everybody go back home. App number three, and actually apps, if you are going for groceries, figure out if the place you're doing your groceries has some special phone app. What I can tell you for sure that Liv has amazing phone app with all the folders, like, you know, newsletters, what are the offers for this week? They have additional coupons as well. They accumulate your money so you get some other special prices. So it's a relatively cool app for Liv. I know Deleuze has also the app, but with Deleuze there is a problem because you need a Luxembourgish number or like Belgian or French to get the app and you have additional discounts. And also there are other places where you can get either the app or the card. So it all depends where you're doing your groceries, but it's worth checking it out. Point number three, if you don't have WhatsApp, please download it and put your number. I think Telegram is not that recognized here. Most of the people use WhatsApp and Instagram to communicate with other people. I think that WhatsApp is more or less worldwide known, but I know that there are countries that use it more or less. For example, in Poland, we don't use it that much. I know in US, it's not that popular either. All South America and most of the countries in Europe, they do. But I really recommend you to have it because there are many groups for people, for your friends, for people from work. You will be mostly asked for your number to use it via WhatsApp. A lot of people will call you through WhatsApp because a lot of people will have free internet, but they may not have free calls abroad or something like this. So yeah, just download it. It's going to be very, very useful for you. I think this is the easiest way to communicate with people here. Not a lot of people use Messenger. And yeah, as I said, second option would be Instagram. Next point, what would be very useful for you if you are coming for the first time or if you don't have a way to go back home at night, it's web taxi. This is kind of like the Uber of Luxembourg. Luxembourg doesn't have Uber, so we have web taxi. It's let's say cheaper than the normal taxi, but it's still not cheap. Relatively, you will pay more or less 15, 20 euro to go back home from the city center for a few kilometers. So just so you are aware of this, that it's not going to be cheap, but if you don't have any other option, it's better than nothing. So it's good to have web taxi. Another one is the Allo taxi, but I know that the web taxi has much more cars going on everywhere. And Allo taxi is more difficult to find. It also has a nice competitive prices. So these two are important. I would recommend web taxi. That's what I took from the airport. That's what I took a few times during my stay here. And you use it exactly like Uber. So you have a car that you see where it is, you pay the app or you can put that you want to pay with cash. And yeah, that's it. Basically a very easy app to use. But here, instead of Uber, we use web taxi. Other stuff that uh, you may think of that there is in Luxembourg, there is no Glovo, there is no Uber Eats or something like this. You have WeDelivery, I think Ghosty or something like this. 
and I'm pretty sure there is a third one, but we delivery is the most used one. I don't know if it's because of the price or it's the oldest one, but these are also the apps that you may use for delivering the food to home, ordering it, and just having an easy way to get it from the restaurant. If we talk about spending money, there are a few apps that will be very useful here. So first of all, I think that a lot of people use online banking in a way of like, you know, the card that you have on your phone and they just pay contactless with phone, or any other type of online bank that will allow you to have transfers between different countries for free or something like this, or maybe the bank that will allow you to have a quick conversion from your currency if you are not living in a country that is in euro. So this is also a very nice thing to have on your phone. It's obviously questionable on the safety or whatever, but talking about safety, PayPal. I've heard countless amount of people who have PayPal here. A lot of people use it. I don't agree with the policy of PayPal, so I don't use it, but I know that many people, when we had to exchange the money, they were like, oh yeah, just send me the money on PayPal. It didn't work for me because I don't have it, I don't use it. Also, when someone all oh, the they wanted to always send it on PayPal, I don't use it, but I know many, many people do. So if you do have PayPal or you are agreeing with their policy, go for it, download the app. It's for sure making your life easier. And yeah, and it will allow you to have transfer between your friends in a way that no one will ask you for the transfer or cash instead. Next app, again, I don't use it because I don't agree with the policy of the app. However, there is a cashback program that it's called Sapi's Pay. And basically you have many, many discounts in different restaurants, which you're gonna get the cashback from. So for example, you're going out, you're eating for 30 euro, you're gonna have around three, five euro of cashback, depending on how much percentage they have. Some have 10, so I have 15, 20% depends on the place but you can get some nice cashbacks my friend use it you basically kind of pay with the app so you put the money on the app and then you use it you have the list of the companies that i think they change weekly but then there are some fixed co fixed companies that are every single week on the app so if you know the places or maybe you may be incentivized to find a new place because you're going to see it on the service pay but yeah a lot of people use it here it's a lot advertised here and uh, i know that you can get some money back so that's also an app to consider to download and last but not least i think they are not as necessary but will be useful if you download any type of trains or blah blah car or airline apps for like check-ins or having a ticket on your phone instead of printing it or instead of having it on your email if you are traveling to germany or france both of the deutsche bahn and tejabe or like we whatever scns never remember what is the name of the trains in france anyways they both have apps they both recommend you to use the apps as a ticket provider and yeah that all depends how you use it also blah blah car as i mentioned if you are traveling blah blah car would be very useful and airline applications for check-ins so yeah that would be it for today i hope that helps you a lot to make your life easier in luxembourg if you have any other questions let me know in the comments down below and if you think that this video was useful please hit the like button that helps me a lot with the youtube algorithm so this video will reach more people and if you haven't subscribed yet subscribe to my channel i talk a lot about studying abroad living abroad currently in luxembourg and traveling so if you enjoy this type of topics subscribe to my channel and here i leave you the video about reasons to move to luxembourg and the luxembourgish playlist thank you for watching have a nice day and i'll see you in another video